Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve your average 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. Um, first, let's get to know the basics of the Rubik's Cube. Anything that you will see is basically exactly the same thing that you have in the instructions. This is basically for people who have lost their instructions, don't understand their instructions, prefer seeing it visually, or like one of my friends bought the Rubik's Cube in Spain and have Rubik's Cube in Spanish. Which stinks when you can't understand a word. Anyway, the basics. I always hold it from this face. Well, not that face necessarily, but you get the idea, right? No, I'm sure you don't. So, this is the front face. Alright? So, as you can imagine, on the other side, it's the back face. Alright, so obviously you can get that this is the upper face and the down face. Up, down, left, and right. Fairly obvious, right? U, F, L, R, B, and lastly, uh, D. All these means that you have to twist one face. In the instructions, which are given in letters, each face, <coughs> sorry, um, is represented by letter, and that's how you turn it. All right. So up, down, left, right, front, back. All of them are represented by their first letters. Up. So U. Well, this would be down, but down. So D. Front. So F. Here, you should always hold it like this. R, so right, this is the left side, so L, and in the back, it's um, B, which means the back, which should seem fairly straightforward. If you don't understand, watch this video, uh, the introduction, until you do. Thank you. Anyway, I'm just going to scramble up my Rubik's Cube so that you can try to solve it. This will basically work for any Rubik's Cube. That is 3 by 3 by 3 Rubik's is really cool because it makes a bunch of different products. For example, it's got the 2 by 2 by 2 this one the 3 by 3 by 3 the 4 by 4 by 4 5 by 5 by 5 And then it also exists in bigger sizes, but those are not made by Rubik's. Although Rubik's doesn't have a specific company, I mean, it's been made by Hasbro, it's been made by I don't know how many different companies. If it says Rubik's on it, I would buy it. If it doesn't, don't buy it. I mean, I bought one Rubik's-like items at Myers, and it kind of stinks. Because it wasn't actually Rubik's Cube, so the turning really sucks. <coughs> also, it exists in a 2x2 two two in the shape of the world, a 2x2 two two in the shape of Homer Simpson's head, which is really sweet. They've got one that is 360 degrees, which you have to... Put the right colors in the right spots. Uh, one of them looks like a UFO. One of them is made of wood for the 30th anniversary. I mean, they've made a bunch of awesome stuff. Okay, here's the really screwed up Rubik's Cube. Okay, what we're going to do for the first two steps, with one step for one video, is we're going to have green on top. For the rest of the steps, blue is going to be on top. So the green middle is you. Okay. The middles will never move. They are always fixed in their spaces directly adjacent to one another. Yellow will never be opposite of orange. Green will always and eternally be the opposite of blue. So, what you're going to do is I'm going to find a green middle piece that has another color. In this case, this one, it's green, and down here, it's orange. So, we're going to find the orange middle, since they never move. It's here. So, I'm going to turn, turn, until this green piece and this orange piece are on the same face. This is this were flipped, it would make a line. So, we're going to turn the face until green 
is on the top is part of u and should be here, but it isn't. So we're just going to use a very simple technique. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it like this. This is the one you're going to turn, and it's on R. Okay? Watch very closely, and I will put in text the instructions. All right? R, I. Oh, yeah. By the way, if I say a letter, it means turn the face clockwise. If I say I, letter I, it means turn it counterclockwise. Always do it as if you were facing that side. All right. So here we go. R, I, U, F, I, and then finally U, I. And as you can see, ta-da, and it's aligned with the orange. All right. So what you're going to do is you're just going to find all the other ones. Um, here's one, one here. Um, there should be one somewhere else. I'm sure there is. And you're just going to keep doing the same technique. If, by any chance, you have one that just automatically is aligned, say that this were green and this were yellow, don't bother. But what you have to make sure is that these are aligned with the middles. I mean, a lot of people can do one Rubik's face, but it doesn't really matter. You j what's really important is that you align. I mean, one Rubik's face completely disaligned won't count for anything, and you'll never be able to solve your cube like that. So, I'm going to really quickly find all the other faces. Here, for example, we have red and green. Now we're just going to turn the face, and luckily, it's already aligned. Uh, here's our yellow face, and <clears throat> turning it, it's already aligned as well. So all that's left is the last one, which is here, and it's in the right spot. It's aligned with the white. Turn the face and use the same technique. Now for those who missed it the first time, here it is again. R, I, U, F, I, U, I. And there, we've got this green cross. Um, don't mind the corners, please. Alright, thanks for watching. That was the first step, first video, and we will continue in the next step. Alright, see ya.